Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. We are... Well, we, we made some progress. We made some progress. Uh, we have all our iron plates going out onto belts. Going down there. We have all our rods over here going out on belts. And we also have screws being made. Two full belts of... Well, two full 120 belts of screws being made. However, I think I'm going to need to change that up because basically uh, we only have one and a third 120 belt of iron plates going out and it's just not enough. It is not enough. It just isn't. We need way more iron plates. So yeah, I think we're going to have to do that, uh, but at least we have something going, right? And I think it looks pretty nice with, well, wrong key, wrong key, with the glass floors here. And I think we're, we're going to put in machines to do iron plates all the way down as far as we can in... Whoops. As far as, uh, as we can do full belts, really. And I think we'll also have to hear these guys, which I thought were going to be copper. I think they're going to have to be iron. I think that's going to have to be the plan. Let's go and see what we have for coupons, because... We want more unlocks, more unlocks, more fun. And also, we need to check on some hard drives because I went out and got a couple more hard drives. We have one here and uh, there's one going now if it isn't done. So 12 coupons, okay, we'll grab those 12 coupons. Thank you. How? There. No, we didn't get the coupons. How the hell did I grab the coupons? How? I want the coupons! Thank you. And there's a while to go until we get the next one. Quite a while. Anyway. Uh, let's go check on our hard drive. It's done. So what do we have here? Ooh, that is kind of interesting. Steel screws. One steel plate for 52 steel screws. For 52 screws. That is actually very interesting. 260 per minute. That's quite interesting. We have limestone and water into concrete. That's not that interesting, to be honest. And certainly the wood into coal is just meh. So yeah, it's going to have to be the screws. All right. We'll grab that and we will start a new scan awesome chap how awesome are you today let's see so i want the windows walls the window walls that's nine coupons though and we only have 12. i do want them though uh, attachments the conveyor wall mount and the hyper tool wall mount probably like the hyper tube not so much right now because we don't have hyper tubes yet but the conveyor wall might would be pretty sweet foundations i want all of those to be honest but 14 16 19 we, we can't afford that we can't afford that vehicles i don't really care about 
and walkways and walkways and factory railing I do care very much about. We're definitely going to add uh, the walkways to the cart and I think the railing as well. That takes us up to seven. That means we have two left. We can't get any statues for that, that's for sure. Equipment. Uh, nah, it's, it's just not important, is it? Uh, door walls we already have. Metal stuff we can't afford. So maybe the conveyor wall mounts. Or the foundation pillar. But that's mainly aesthetic. Right now we're focusing on the functional. So let's do that. Oh, that's only six, seven, nine. We had twelve, didn't we? Alright, buy all. Did we buy it? Buy all. Not enough coupons. Didn't what? What? Did we get the the things? Uh, organization. Logistics. No, we didn't. Did I not get my coupons? Where the heck did my coupons go? There are zero principal coupons. We should bloody well have some new stuff to build. Walls. Transportation. Organization. I'm pretty sure the... The things... Uh, the scaffold stuff goes there. Logistics. We don't have the conveyor wall mounts. What the frick? Where's my stuff? Dude! Where are my coupons? They're not in there. I don't have it on me. Dude, that is not cool. I want my coupons. Piece of crap. Alright, let me try and figure out what happened to the coupons. And I'll be right back. Right, so I had to reload to get the, the coupons uh, because they, they just disappeared. They disappeared, but now I have them. Twelve here. And what you need to do, uh, one more has come up, so what you need to do is grab it and put it into your inventory. Don't just grab it and drop it somewhere. Uh, that will basically lose you the coupons, which kind of sucks. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we, we have the coupons. We have 13 coupons now. And let's go see what we can buy. Let's go see what we can buy. So... <clears throat> I love the new foundations. We already bought that one, and I actually have built a bit uh, with it, which I'll show you in a second. Vehicle c could be fun, but not that important. I want the walkways, for sure. And I want the factory railing, I think. Statues. We will want all the statues and several of them, I think, but we don't want them just yet. Equipment. Coffee cup. Yeah. No. Parts. No, why would I buy in why would I buy parts, to be honest? There's no point in that. So attachments. We've used seven so far, so we have six left. So we could get the conveyor wall mount. So that's nine, which means we have four left. Can we get anything useful with four coupons? Hmm. We 
we can, we can get the foundation pillar and the inverted ramp. Let's get those. That's a total of 13 coupons. Buy everything. And that gets us some new stuff to play with. Very nice. Now let me show you what I have done here. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I have added uh, two floors. Uh, I haven't started building on them yet, but I've added two floors. So up on the floor where my uh, where my aim is now, we are doing the iron plate and the iron rods and the screws as well, which will be changed. We can't do screws there. So that's where we are here. Oops. So that's the floor with all that going on. And if we go up one more floor, we have a floor here, same size as the other one, but I've used the uh, the holy uh, uh, foundations. So what are they called? Mm. We have those now, very nice. Uh, frame foundations we've used here, and I did not fall to my death at all while placing these, I promise. Uh, and then we have another floor up top, which I haven't even made accessible yet, but we do. So yeah, that's pretty cool, and I think it'll look nice. We can see quite a bit more through these floors, because they are that kind of foundation, I feel like. I feel like we can see more than we could through the others. So yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. And... Whoa! Yeah. So up there, next floor, will be screws and probably uh, reinforced plates and maybe even uh, modular frames as well and rotors. Oh yeah, so we need a lot more iron plates because if we... Can I build a... Uh, uh, craft bench. No. But I can. Just grab a bit of those. Let's build it right there for now. So, reinforced iron plate is iron plate and screws. The modular frames is reinforced iron plate and rods. And rotors is where are the rotors? There is rods and screws. So we need rods and screws there. We need reinforced plates and rods there. And we need plates and screws there. So we actually need quite a lot of screws, and we don't really need that many plates. Yeah, we do, we do. We do. So, if we look at reinforced plates, if we take that down and build an assembler, Then this takes 30 per minute to make 5 per minute, which means um, if we do one 120 belt, we'll be getting 20 of the reinforced plates per minute. Which is not a whole lot. 
Now this takes three per minute and makes two. So if we say one sixty belt. That's twenty machines, that's so oh uh, wait. So yeah, so that would mean that we needed this setup times three. So that's three hundred and sixty iron plates a minute that we would need. But we don't really need to make them that fast. The modular frames we can do with just making one setup of half of what we are producing here. So if we have one setup of, of this, that would be 20 per minute. Take half of that, that's 10 per minute. And that would mean that we'd make six of these a minute, basically, which I'm actually okay with. I don't think we need more than that in a starter base. And we don't need that many rotors either in the starter base. So I actually... Question is, what do we need going forward? What do we need going forward? Hmm. Do we need reinforced plates for other productions? I don't remember. Let's go take a look at the hub. Well, let's go take a quick look at the hub. And see. So the staters, they definitely take screws, I think. I think. But I'm not sure. I think it's screws and steel rods or steel beams. No steel, what are they called? Uh, steel pipes. I think that's what staters take. The motor takes rotors and staters and something else. The heavy modular frames take modular frames. The encased industrial beams don't need any iron plates. Hypertube thing doesn't really do anything in there. We don't really need anything. Okay. So for the tiers that we have available to us right now, we don't need more plates. We need to send 500, 500, and 100. Okay. And uh, let's just go to the workbench here, or the craft bench. So... Ah, oh, we can't make them in that. We need a assembler. So the smart plating takes reinforced plate and rotors, and that takes modular frames. Not oh, you. So. Okay. That's not too bad. All right, let's let's uh We certainly need more iron. Do we know we don't. I think I'm okay with the setup that we have right now actually. 
So the screws are okay to be made where they are. Which means that we go upstairs and start making reinforced plate and rotors and modular frames. What do I need to build uh, assemblers? I have quite a bit of everything. So, I can't sit on those? You gotta be kidding me! It could, there. Try there. What's going on here? Why will it sit there but not anywhere else? So basically that means that I need to take these out. Turn them into these. Oops. Ah. And I guess we'll take these out as well. Oh man. And let's take them here. Now, I do want a little bit of space before we start, so let's do here. We stick one there, and then we have a bit of space over here. Uh, is this enough space though? I don't think so. But we want a splitter. This isn't enough space needs to come forward some. So something like there. And then we won't have that much space to run on, but I can live with that. It is, uh, after all, just a starter base still. And then... We can get it going here. I'm good with that. Okay. So, reinforced plate is the first thing that we want. But now, I can remove this, I hope. And jump down. actually wanted to get on top of that. And can we now stick in the foundations again the way we want them? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. I might want to make this one wider. Move it out a bit. So my idea is that then we'll come down and we'll run the belts underneath. I think that'll look pretty cool. I think that'll look pretty cool. So yeah. I think that's what we'll do. 
I think that's what we'll do. But I will do that uh, on my own, and then I'll be back, because it'll take quite a while to do, I think. And there is no point in you sitting me, sitting through that, just watching me uh, removing and placing found foundations. <laughs> that will get pretty boring. So, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. So, I did a bit more than removing and placing foundations, but not a whole lot. Uh, but I cleared out. I, uh, did I already do that? I think I already did that. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, all the screw production which, which was here is gone. We have our plates here, and I've set up four more uh, plate machines, which will mean that we have two full belts of iron plates uh, going. We also have the two full belts of rods going. And if we go downstairs, no, yeah, go downstairs first. I have made this ready to get more iron. So everything is ready here for the input and the output. So we just need to hook up some more iron. Then we'll have all of these doing uh, iron ingots as well, which is another 480 iron ingots on top of the 480 that we're already getting, except for one which is missing its input. But that's quite a lot of ingots uh, in the starter base, which is nice. And if we go up, then up here, where we had the problem with the foundations, I have set up some smelters or some, some foundries for making steel ingots. So they're set up in groups of three. There are nine foundries total. And the foundries, they take 40 iron ingots and 40 coal to make 60 uh, steel ingots, which is a really good ratio. So I have these three set up, three separate inputs for rows of three. And then the output, we have this guy and this guy together outputting, and then this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy and so on that will output uh, steel ingots. So we need to go find some uh, some coal and we need to go get some iron, but I know that there's iron over here. There are, I think it's four normal nodes of ingots uh, of iron over there. So we can get the iron over there and the coal we can get somewhere over this way. Somewhere. I know it's there. There. 907 meters away and 1100 meters away. So over there, <laughs> we, we're going to get uh, coal somehow. It's quite far away, but it is what it is. We'll just have to, to belt it over for now. Because we don't have trains yet. So that'll be a, a long belt. Which we'll need a lot of reinforced plates for which we don't have a lot of at the moment. So what we'll do is, well, I did want to go all the way down. That hurts because I do have, I did set up a little bit of, did I get it? I got it. All right, so we have some screws in here and we have some plates in here. So we'll grab a bunch of plates. I think we need way more plates than we need screws, to be honest. Uh, take all. And we will stuff them in our, our, our plate making machine down here. We could actually also just set up a plate making machine over here. Set up two temporarily. 
and just run it off these. I think that's a better idea. Um, I think that's a better idea. So if we do like that, and then production, assembler. If we set up two here, just temporarily. And then a splitter. For you. Um, ah. Splitter for you. And splitter for you. This is going to be ugly, but that's okay. Then we can do something like that. And something like that. Something like that. And something like that. Then all we need is power, which we can get somewhere. Stick a power pole in there. And then stick a power pole in there. Then we can say reinforced plate. Reinforced plate. Oh, and look. Where is it? There. Look that up. Look that up. And they should start making reinforced plate. So we're going to need a lot. And I mean a lot. So then we can just stick a storage container out here for now, and a merger there. This only needs to be that. I don't care what it looks like. I just want it to work so that we get some reinforced plates. Okay. So well, that's fine. For now. For now, this is fine. Well, that'll give us 10 per minute, plus we're producing some over here over at the old starter base so i think we're, we're good we're good but we're gonna have to continue on in the next one guys because we are way out of time so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time